Okay. Welcome aboard PT 658. And put the boat out. We'll do a quick deck tour. Not a quick deck tour, but a deck tour. And then go below. We'll start off from the beginning. Up on the bow. Got the bull nose and the don't tread on me flag. And hey, 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 I'm videoing. Be quiet. And uh, up here we have the 37 millimeter cannon. We got Dale and James. Say hi, you guys, to all the people on YouTube. Okay. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> and then this is the Oldsmobile 37 millimeter cannon, 30 round magazine. This is an Erlikon 20 millimeter cannon. I think so. 450 rounds per minute. 60 round magazine. Here is a spare magazine down below on the deck. You can kind of see one of the uh, projectiles in there. You can see uh, some of the aspects about it. And then over here is the 5 inch spin stabilized rockets, Mark 50 rocket launcher. The spare barrel box, life jackets. And over here is the other Mark 50 rocket launcher with a couple of rockets on there a Mark 10 and a Mark 7. You can see. Somewhere between noon and one, I think. Okay. Mark 50 rocket launcher mount. Oh, okay. And these are the two rockets that shoots out of it. They're spin stabilized. They spin like a bullet when they come out, so there's no fins. You can see the nozzles on the back are tilted, so making it spin. The uh, gun sight is a reflecting gun sight right there, and you can use it to determine the range. Down here, is the 10 man balsa life raft. On the left is the five gallon water cask, a fishing kit, then you have a ration container, some paddles, and this picture here shows when the raft is deployed, the floor of the raft goes down below it. And then there's a tarp and a water uh, purification kit, a solar still. Ten people can fit in this raft, which is really small. And over here is the spare barrel box for the 20 millimeter cannon. You, people like to sit on it. And inside of it you've got a spare gun barrel and the as hot gloves, you can change that barrel out. And back here, you've got a bullet hole. It's not real. And then over here is the 50 cal machine gun turret. Oh, I can't turn this. And viewing the helm and the bridge, the radar mast, new radar mast just installed from ET Boats Incorporated on loan, thanks to Don Shannon. Over here is the Mark 13 torpedoes and the midships 20 millimeter cannon. And on the stern is the 40 millimeter cannon. So the Mark 13 torpedo is over here. This is a cutaway view, training aid. You can see it's got a um, air flask, 2,800 pounds of air. That's the alcohol container. It holds 20 pints of alcohol. And the rest has water. And you have these steam turbines in here that spin. And they spin the propellers in opposite directions. This baby will go about 40 knots. It's a mod, mod 2. A mod 1 would go 33 knots. 
and it carries a 600 pound warhead. The way you would operate this torpedo is pull the starting lever, start the engine, come down here, pull this lever, and it rolls off the side of the boat. And then back here, have another 20 millimeter cannon, straight up, you see the magazine. And you could shoot down airplanes with that. Another torpedo, and a depth charge, a Mark VI depth charge, with the uh, brass uh, detonator pistol. And then over here is the 40 millimeter Bofors cannon. And it shoots, well you can see what it says, rate of fire, 120 rounds per minute. Four and a half mile range. And it's got the gun sights on it. Spider sights. And then over here you have the spare ammo uh, on the railing. Then I'm gonna look down here in the engine room. Tom's about to start up the engines. I think. Nope, no he's not. We'll go down there later. You you gonna start them up, Bob? Yeah. Over here is the uh, signal searchlight and the reflecting gun sight for the rockets. This is the torpedo director. You can aim the speed of the target on here. A fast target would be out. Then you aim it and you get the angle right here. And then you turn the boat ahead of the target and shoot. And over here is the, the helm where you have the engine or telegraphs. So this was, this was and you have the throttles. Throttles are locked out unless you're in ahead. And you have to be all the way back to idle before you can take it out of that. Whiskey compass, flux gate gyro compass, mat, uh, auxiliary indicator, and then a rudder angle indicator. Interesting about the wheel, you can pull the wheel out and it's engaged and disengaged right here. You engage it and disengage it, you can push it in and the rudder goes twice as fast, but it's harder to turn and the uh, navigation light indicator. And down below, into the chart house. Well, I'm not trying to trip. You have uh, two people down here in the chart house. You've got the chart board. You've got the um, radio um, auxiliary input unit. And then um, this is the chart board with the navigators instruments here and the parallel motion protractor and also this is a chart used in World War II during the invasion of Elba Island it's a British Admiralty chart donated by Frank Andrus and that is Arthur Frangelo who made the marks on this chart on the PT-302 over here is the TCS, Collins TCS transmitter and receiver. You can see the uh, receiver would be the one with the headphones. The transmitter would be the one with the microphone or the uh, code key. You have the signal flags. You have the flux gate gyro master indicator. You can uh, put in the magnetic deviation that you get from your compass from your uh, chart, I'm sorry. And then this is a this is a Raytheon, Raytheon SO3 radar PPI unit and IFF unit. And this is a sextant and a US Navy boat chronometer, PT boat chronometer, which you would have to wind every day. And then down here is the cruise quarters. 
Well, hopefully not killing myself. Just starting up the engines. As you can see, the cruise quarters. We've got the cruise drop leaf table. And we've got bunks for eight men down here. Four up high. And then four down low. Here, here here and here. Down inside you've also got the galley. Here's the stove, the sink, which is kind of a mess. We've been making coffee. And uh, the toaster. Very proud of this toaster. It's a World War II toaster. The same toaster that you can see in this picture. You see the toaster in the upper right hand side? So it's the same toaster. Donated, and then all the uh, Navy silverware in the silver wheel holder, and then up here you've got um, some uniforms from World War II veterans that are hanging in here on display. Got Mari Hooper, Kenny Morris, Al McCready. We got uh, also Chester Grayland, torpedo man, right there. See the torpedo? And then Al McCready is a quartermaster, one of our founding members. Here's uh, Kenny Morris, right here. He was a motor Mac. And then each one of the bunks has uh, its own pinup girl. Got, uh, what's her name? Juanita Stark, chief radio man. Chief Gunner's mate with the old khaki chief's uniforms. Uh, dress khaki, I should say. And then in here you've got uh, Gloria De Haven as the pinup girl in that bunk. Hanging from the overhead, you see these uh, K Pock life jackets. Over here we've got, uh, I think, the best of all time pinup girls, Zan Miller. She's a famous dancer. And so the cruise quarters also has its own head. Here's the head. And uh, they would have not have used this head very much. They would have used it for storage because you see you have a privacy curtain and it's not very private. So the crew wouldn't normally use it. They'd use it for storage. And here is the uh, ward room, officer stateroom. This is an IS 
AFF unit, a, a BK, it's supposed to be mounted on the bulkhead. And right there is a captain yelling through hole. So he can open that up and yell at the guys where the radio is. See, there's the radio through there. So the, the captain can yell at those guys if he's down here sleeping and something starts going wrong. Inside the captain's bunk, the best, most famous pinup girl of all time, Betty Grable. I found out, I heard on from a tourist the other day, she was pregnant when this picture was taken. That's why she's not facing us. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, over here on the captain's desk, you can see there's a blotter. There's a U.S. Navy non-spilling inkwell meant for boats. And of course, no smoking on a PT boat. That's why we have an ashtray. And then we've got a barometer, clock, and a blotter. Over here, we've got on top of his cabinet, we've got a couple of pith helmets, which come in handy. And Lieutenant JG Bill Skates, dress blue uniform. You can see the uh, thick and thin stripes. And Bill had his 90th birthday on the PT boat last year. Inside here is the working head. Between the two gas tanks, there's a gas tank there, a gas tank there. And on the other side of the bulkhead is the engine room. My favorite part, safety, is always number one concern on this van. That's why we have this, uh, this, this guard that you can't, you can't chop off your finger with. So we're going to go up and out. while not killing ourselves.